this is gonna be a weird generation for AMD. Because even though at first I sat enamored listening to every single word Lisa Su was saying our way down an audience in Taipei when she was announcing Ryzen 9000, looking back there was one key detail that went unmentioned. The price. And usually when manufacturers don't reveal the price so close to launch, I mean these things are supposed to be launching in late July, that's usually an indicator they don't have too much faith in it. And thanks to some leaks from various retailers all over the world, we actually now know how much they will cost, with the flagship's 9950X costing $600, which is actually $100 less than the 7950X and the X3D at launch, with the keyword there being at launch. Now they've gone way down in price as they're becoming old news, making everyone like me who bought them early on feel kind of dumb for doing so. But hey, at least if the performance upgrade is nice, then I guess it's all worth it. Well, yeah, about that. Sure, the performance graphs they've shown so far are rather impressive, but they're really kind of inconsistent in how much performance we're gonna get, depending on the workload. What's more, they are comparing to, well, current Intel offerings. Plus, they're only comparing to the 4900K and not the KS. But guess what? Intel has their own next generation of CPUs launching later this year with Arrow Lake. Now granted, argument can be made that AMD still wins out there, seeing how this will just be a drop in upgrade for AM5 motherboards, while with Intel you're gonna have to grab a whole new motherboard with a whole new socket to boot. Not to mention DDR5 RAM if you don't have it already, seeing how this brand new chipset will not support older DDR4 DIMMs. So while that might sound like a win for AMD, I don't think too many people will be upgrading seeing how AM5 is just one gen old. And most people are not going to be spending that kind of money for a new CPU just for a bit of performance. Then there's the much bigger elephant in the room, and that is them not really comparing these things to the likes of the 7950X3D, the current gaming champion from AMD, and for good reason, that last gen X3D chips still come out on top in gaming performance, even if by small margins. Yes, 3D cache is just so busted that product stacks begin to cannibalize themselves. Now of course, small performance uplifts are still better than nothing, and there's still other lower-end CPUs you could grab instead, with some pretty decent pricing from those previously mentioned leaks. But with all of that information combined, I want to hear what your plan is. Are you going to be upgrading to Ryzen 9000? Are you waiting for Arrowlay to come out? Are you waiting for AMD's response to Arrowlay coming out? Well, let me know all of that down in the comments below, and maybe also check out our Patreon, because unlike some of the CPUs we discussed today, it is always a fantastic deal. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Rage, Ronyak, Dev Panda, Balaj Velka, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, Level Up, and Robert Sanders. But anyway, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.